In this video, we're going to discuss the learning and growth perspective of the balanced scorecard. So what do we even mean when we say learning and growth? Well, here's the takeaway. The company should always, always be innovating and improving and trying to figure ways to create more value. If the company isn't innovating and coming up with new ideas and new ways of doing things, then the competitors will be. Somebody else is going to come up with new ideas and they're eventually going to put you out of business. So you always have to be thinking, how do we improve as a company? How do we continuously get better? How do we get our employees to be better and so forth? How do we improve productivity? So here are some of the questions that you might think about as you're thinking about, let's say you're implementing a balanced scorecard and you're thinking about the learning and growth perspective. How are we, and when I say we, I mean our company, how are we changing and improving? And again, if we're not improving, if we're just content with the status quo, somebody else, some other company is going to innovate and they're going to be the one who captures all our customers. So we always have to be saying, how do we get better as a company? How do we improve our employees? We could train, we can spend a lot of time training our employees to become more productive. We could think about ways to get ideas from our employees about new potential uh, product offerings, new services that we can offer to make our customers happier and so forth. So we can always think about ways maybe we can re engineer some of our processes. We want to generate ideas and, 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 and invest in our employees so that we're constantly getting better as a firm and then as we focus on building the capabilities of our employees we can think of a number of ways to measure this not just the number of hours that we spend training people but we could actually survey our employees and say hey, are you satisfied with your job we know that employee satisfaction is linked to productivity we can also look at employee turnover if turnover is going down that's a good thing because it costs a lot of money you constantly have to train and, and hire employees right there's a lot of HR costs we could measure the number of suggestions that are made by employees that shows are we doing a good job basically tapping into that knowledge and the ideas that, that our employees have and then also do our employees even feel comfortable suggesting things and are we helping them with enough training where they feel like they have something that they can contribute that's of value and so I want to return to the example that I had in a previous video where we we're talking about where we have an online retailer and we've been hired to create a balanced scorecard and so the way that the learning and growth perspective look for that company it was like you think of okay learning and growth our objective or our goal for it for that company was to invest in employee training and to improve employee satisfaction now this doesn't mean these are the only things that we're going to try to achieve there might be other things remember the balance scorecard we're trying to create one clear picture of how we intend to achieve our strategy but here are the main goals we're going to focus on for that that fictional company and then how are we going to measure it well we could think about reduced employee turnover and that, we could also we could even survey the employees and ask them on a scale of one to ten how happy are you and so forth and and then if we do this right if we do this right and we see improvement in these measures then that's going to lead into our next perspective which is internal processes which we'll talk about in the next video